been a while since we did an app video. So here we are. This is Vinav from TechWiser.com. And before we begin, we upload weekly videos. And if you want to stay wiser, make sure you subscribe to TechWiser and hit that bell icon as well. With that said, let's begin with the first app. The first one is Spark Launcher, which brings the iOS 14 style launcher on your Android. Well, kind of. You get the same pull down for search like iOS, a bit of weather and clock widget like iOS. You also have the same shelf on the left. You can even download the Spark Control Center and make it look exactly like iPhone. The only thing that you don't get is the app drawer and the overlapping widget. However, ironically, there are a lot of customization. So this happens to be an iOS launcher, but with customization. Overall, Spark Launcher is a paid app for just 10 rupees and in exchange, you don't see any ad. Go for it. One of the best feature of Bluetooth earphones and TWS is Google Fast Pair. Now, in case you don't know, Google Fast Pair works sort of like AirPods and iPhone connection. That is, you see the pairing animation, battery percentage, and you can also find your lost TWS by playing a buzz sound. but only if the phone and the Bluetooth device are connected over Bluetooth. And here comes the app, Wonderfine. It uses Bluetooth to precisely tell the distance from your phone to the TWS. Moreover, it also works even if the TWS isn't paired to your Android. So you can easily rotate the device and have a rough idea of the location of the TWS and then find it. Also, be careful next time around. Next up, we have a cool little app which is getting quite popular lately. So with Liquid Teardown, you get to see good charging animation along with a clear view of your phone. Like here, you can see the Note 9 internal layout along with charging animation. Pretty cool. It's a paid app with only three free trials, but surprisingly, reinstalling the application also reset the trial. Hey Dev, if you're watching this, you may want to look into that. Also, while it works with every Android smartphone, but you get the best result with these handpicked models only. Of course, you can also request the developer from Can Please You Add. Interesting. The next app is one of my personal favorites. So Zang Remote is basically a digital version of a typical Air Mouse remote that lets you use your phone as a mouse for your Android TV. So I'm playing this game called Crossy Road on my Android TV. Now, when you first download the application, you cannot pass this age screen. The remote doesn't work and you need an Air Mouse. But for this specific thing, I don't recommend buying an Air Mouse. I just want to play the Crossy Road and be on my way. So here comes Zang Remote. I can quickly hover and enter my correct age and then get past the screen. Overall, Zank Remote is really helpful at such small times when you're stuck on Android TV or even screen recording or something. Check it out. Next in our list is an app called Panels. So I have this habit of organizing apps into folder on my home screen for quick access. But as you can see, this is just a mess. The home screen is untidy with too many apps that I don't use often. So here comes the app called Panel. It presents a quick panel on the side where you can place most used app and not just that, you can also have contacts as well. You can also add website links and even settings shortcut. It reminds me of Pi Launcher, but less complicated. It's basically like Samsung Edge apps, but for all Android smartphones. Up next, we have Twitter, India's own Twitter. I really like the name. And when you tweet on Twitter, it's not a tweet, it's a toot. I wonder what fleet might be called. So there are a lot of people on board on Twitter. We have the Prime Minister, Virat Kohli, our Indian Army, Navy, and much more. The app is in the spirit for Vocal for Local campaign. So go ahead and give it a shot. But there are a few problems though. For example, it took me a day to sign up and log into the app. I guess it's due to the unexpected rise in traffic. Also, once you join Twitter, you already follow three people, the CEO of Twitter and two bot account which deliver the news and stuff. Of course, you can unfollow them, but it was kind of interesting to see that. Anyways, let me know how is your experience in the comment section below. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most hyped game for a long time. And finally, it's going to launch in December for PS5 whoever has it. And we also have the OnePlus 80 Cyberpunk edition coming with awesome wallpaper and theme. Again, whoever has it. So for the rest of us, or should I say among us, you can get the Cyberpunk OnePlus 80 theme on regular Android phones. Just download these two APK from APK Mirror 
link in the description below once done you can also fetch the cyberpunk wallpaper i will have the link to that as well and as you can see you get the similar oneplus 8t cyberpunk glow i mean let the hype live also fyi we tried it on oneplus 60 and it worked fine but the icon pack did not load in non oneplus devices Now, there's no shortage of to-do list rules. For example, we have the 135 rule, which focus on doing one most important thing, three medium priority things, and five low priority things in a day. Then we have the Moscow rule, which includes making a list of must do, should do, could do, and won't do. Similarly, we have the ABCD rule from Brian Tracy's Eat That Frog and Warren Buffett's famous two list rules. My point is there are just too many rules to make a list, and the fundamental of all of them are same. In a given day, you have a limited amount of time and willpower, so you should do the most important task first before you spend your energy in the less important ones. And that's where priorities comes in. Every day you make a list of 3 to 5 tasks for the next day before you go to bed. And focus on only doing the top 3 first. It's a proven technique used by many productive people and I can vouch for it too. Go check it out. So yeah, this was our list of best Android apps December 2020. Let me know which is your favorite one in the comment section below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.